What up, G's? It's your boy, Prophet Cine4. Today, we're gonna build a computer that we're not even gonna look into it. It's just, I'm just returning it and they're taking it. They're like, they know that they has problems. So we're gonna remove my existing M.2. Hopefully the drivers are almost similar to what I have in here. This is a two terabytes, two terabytes, um, a blue. Um, it's called Western Digital, right? It's 36 gigs transfer rate, which is... Now I'm going to put the plate, base plate, and before that, we're going to remove the thermal paste cover, the thermal tape cover. So that's going to be permanent in there. And before that, you got to make sure you, you mount it in the right place, or you're going to screw the whole thing up. And we're going to remove the actual CPU. And the CPU, there's a little latch, all right, in here. But you got to be careful. You When you move it up, it, 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 it doesn't eject completely because... View. Thanks again, bro. No Catch problem. Later. No problem, man. Got a dip. Thank you for following it. Thank you for coming down. So here is the CPU. I removed it. And you got to be careful because... And, and this one is perfect. It's, it's actually pretty good because there's no pins in here. You can't bend any of the pins. There's only connections. There's only contact. If, this is the actual CPU. Let me see if I can focus. You see that? This is the i9. Uh, let me remove some of the thermal paste, of course, because I, I did... I think I overdid the thermal paste a lot. Let's put it in before anything else happens here. So we're gonna open up this sucker on this side. John Boy joined. What's up, John Boy? Welcome to the stream, brother. How you doing? So we're gonna open this up. And see the plastic? I'm not even gonna remove it because it's gonna pop up automatically. So now that I know where it's pointing, it's pointing that way. And I'm gonna just drop it in here. There we go. Contact me. That's it. So it's embedded there. It's all right. So we just put it in there and this thing's going to pop out automatically when uh, as soon as I, I I put this in there. There we go. That one that's one and it should pop out right now. No, it didn't pop out. It's supposed to pop out, but it's in there embedded now. So we got the CPU in there. So the plate, face plate facing in all right okay so we're gonna have to put the other screws in there the the secondary screws I have that are flipped up and basically those go pointed up and you just screw them in through the top let that look cr crisscross or something you know A little bit here, a little bit there. Tic tac toe, not too much. So, I'm gonna go ahead and embed it on the last ones, on the last one here, on the last ones. And it's all there, it's all embedded. Now, this is a hard part right here. I'm not gonna plug this in, I just wanna get it up and running today. So, we're gonna go ahead and plug the power. But before that, I do have it prepped. I have this prep here and ready to go in here just plug it in here get the memory locked in so we got eight gigs right now and then we're gonna put the video card 1080 ti um, we're gonna replace the 1080 ti with a 2080 uh, t uh, 20 uh, rtx 2080 2080 ti so right now temporary we're going to put this one in and this one's very simple to do just make sure there's no cable oh before we do that we almost forgot something important too let's get the screw out of the way and put this card here we almost forgot to plug in this in this is actually a usb connection and it's uh to power up all the usb ports the 3.0 plug that sucker in the audio cable and another extra usb and we need to power this up so this is important this is for the water pump here they give you a water pump it says water pump right here it's in white so that's a water pump and also there's a secondary one the usb that you connect to the usb connection but we're not going to do that one that's just to read the the actual thermal and all that so if you can make changes to it too if you have a lighting colors like this lights up 
you could change it through the USB. This one says audio, HD audio. So we look for the audio. And there it is. So we got it in there. Now there is one more that it's a USB. So this one right here, very simple. Slide it in there. I like that they have those metal brackets now. There we go. And I am gonna set this one up with a screw because we don't want to damage it. It's a, it's a video card we're talking about. So this one's ready. Now we need to power it up. And we do have the power here. And we have four on one side and two on the other side. So four will be here. This will be embedded in this direction. There's four. And then we got the six. Six units here. This is a little bit more slack right here. Here we go. Got to make sure you line them up properly because they don't, they're a little bit off and I don't want to short or anything else. There it goes. And, and I don't want to force myself in. I, I just want to hold it from the bottom and kind of squeeze it tight. So we're set to go. I mean, all I have to do is turn it on, make sure it runs and we're in business. And if it comes out to that, it turns on, we'll finish it out. Just be sure. Did I forget anything? We're going to find out right now if I did. So got power light in there. The power just came on in here. So right now, pretty much it's cranking up, but we got to turn on and make sure the fans are, are, you see the lighting in there, RGB lighting. It's pretty cool in there. Let me zoom in. So power on. Let's power the sucker on, and if it turns on, we're in business. So we didn't plug in these fans. <laughs> That's the only fans we need. It's okay. It's Don't panic. We're turning them on right now. But these fans here are on. It's picking up the, the memory. Here we go. See? It turns on. And turn it back on one more time. And it cranks up. This is what it does. It does this all the time. So first time, it's turning on, and it's working. There it goes. There's, it picked up the memory. It told me it picked up when it turns white. And it then uh, it gives you a message here. Um, 99, it's green. It turned to green, so we're good. 36 LP. If it tells you, it gives you a message. The book has a, a, a information about how to hook this up, how to set it up, and what's wrong with it. So there's a lot of information on the manual itself. It tells you 82, what it means. It means that something's missing or something drivers or first time booting up and right now what it's probably doing it's probably on the bio screen it's trying to locate certain because it's brand new setup and we have to run the os and everything else but other than that it seems like everything's working i like the rgb lighting here uh we're gonna plug in these fans so if you guys like what you see make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like button um i'm gonna be your host for today and forever and ever prophet 74 and we are gonna be out guy thank you guys good night ggs